Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to That Paradox Does Agrarian Skies! So, we're back. Look at this freaking tree that grew. It's ginormous, and I just could not be asked cutting it down. Ugh. Hey. So, um, not a lot of progress since the last video. I have mostly just been collecting resources so that you don't have to uh, watch me, you know, do mind-numbing shit. Which isn't that considerate of me. So, I've been sitting at this freaking cobblejack and making... I'll show you all the things I've managed to collect so far. Ta-da! Um, so that's pretty much just putting a whole bunch of crap through the sieve and, you know, yeah. Smelted up some bits and pieces, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got some rubber trees, you know, happening, so that's good. i got some plants for the rubber, um, that's going to be involved with the mob spawner. Yeah, so, um, that's, uh, the mob spawner's coming, but this episode, we're going to use this generator... Um, which is pretty full at the moment. That's nice. Uh, it's got a lot of RF. What I'm going to do is use it to, um, power an igneous extruder and a pulverizer. And then I'm going to make that autonomous activator we've been talking about. And I'm going to automate our cobble gen, uh, turning our cobble into, like, gravel and sand, and then chucking it through the sieve. Uh, through the sieve. So, yeah, guys, get excited. This episode's gonna be a cracker. All right, so what we need to get started. Um, I've prepared most of the things. Iron, aluminium. We're gonna need some gold. I think that's about right. We're gonna need some glass. And, I know, we might need some cobblestone. Who knows? Um, right, so... Gonna need a couple of machine frames. Uh, so what I need to build first. First thing first is the um, pulverizer. Because I'm gonna need the pulverizer in order to build the uh, to get the metals I need for a thing. For a thing, guys. Now I'll make this one out of aluminium or iron. Might as well make this one out of Iron. Alright, I'll do this one out of iron. Go screw you! That's why. Now I'm only going to take one. There we go, which still leaves us with a bunch of iron and stuff. The other one I might make out of aluminium. Because we've got limited resources here, guys. Alright, just settle down. Piston. I'm going to need wood planks for a piston. Uh, wood planks. There we go. So, piston. I know I'm going to need two pistons. I'm going to need redstone. Uh, which I've managed to get a fair bit of through sieving. Uh, I believe I need two of these guys. Um, nine is too many. Uh, nice. What's next? We're going to need uh, a redstone reception coil. That's fine. I think, oh, no, I think I only need one. Stick with one just for now. Um... And, uh, we're gonna need flint. We're gonna need some flint Michigan. Done. And that should give us... Nope, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Am I? I'm missing the copper. Whoops. Lol. Copper. What's the color of a two cent piece? Copper. Copper. Um, alright. So, there's a pulverizer... We can give that power. I'm actually going to move this setup outside. Now, this thing should... Oh, actually, wait. Maybe I need to break it with a crescent hammer for it to... Oh, well. You know what? If I lose the power, I lose the power. Actually, what if a wooden pickaxe isn't enough to break it with? Now, I'm really worried, guys. I'm going to make a crescent hammer. Because I'm dealing with machines now, and I'm going to need it anyway. So, what is that? Three iron and a tin. I hope I can spare the three iron. I reckon I can. You reckon I can? That's silver. That's tin. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm just reckless that way. Um, if it turns out to be a mistake, too bad. Uh, cool. All right. So let's um, put that here instead of dirt. I probably don't need dirt on my hotbar. Let's have some food. Look at the um, look at the number of runner burger burgers I've got. 
It's great. It's just great. Um, so yeah, getting lots of food from that farm now, which is uh, just great. Um, yeah, the next quest I gotta do is kill four zombies. So I know we'll see how we go for time with this episode, and maybe I'll make a dark place to get into a bit of a you know fight with zombies. Probably get my ass kicked. Just saying. Hashtag. Just saying. Um, cool. So I've got the crescent hammer. I should now be able to. Nope. Nope. It doesn't work with a crescent hammer. Well, I probably would have needed that anyway. Oh, far out. I'm just gonna break it. Oh God. Does it have to be? Oh, it's taking so long. Oh, we picked it up. Did it hold its charge? And it's held its charge. Phew. All right, going to need to make some kind of cabling system as well, I just realized. Um, I'm going to break the um, sifter, because uh, we're not really using that. So, yeah, so screw him. Uh, for now, I guess we'll just place this guy here, pop, pulverizer, bam, done. We'll give it uh, the survivalist generator, and it should be getting power. Look at that. Look at that. Done. Now, what I need for the next item is um, ferrous or metal. Ferrous metal. Um, the next thing I'm making is the igneous extruder. So, okay. Um, sorry. What the pulverizer... Pulverizer? Pulverizer? The pulverizer does is you chuck stuff in it and it'll turn it into like a dust. So you can like double your yields of shit. But if... Um, oh, I've even got some cobblestone here to demonstrate. So if I chuck the... Uh, the cobblestone in, bam, it gives me gravel, which we've been using the hammer to make. If I put the gravel in, um, it will give me sand. Also, when you get gravel, you get a 10% chance of getting, when you're making a cobblestone into gravel, you get a 10% chance of getting a sand. And I'm pretty sure if I chuck the sand in here, I will also get dust. And I think down the line, I'll um, get some dust automation happening. So I'll get, so I'm getting all three kinds. Um, Cool. So anyway, that's a nice little example of that. Now, what the Igneous Extruder does is, this guy, is he will make, um... Actually, I've got everything I need to make him. Whoops, it's the... I need ferrous metal for the autonomous activator. My bad, guys. My bad. Um, so the Igneous Extruder, basically, you put lava and water in it, and you can make uh, obsidian and cobblestone and stuff. Um, and you can basically just keep making, um, cobblestone free of cost, which is nice. Mmm, that's nice. Um, for this one, uh, no, I don't want to use tinkers or out. I might just use silver. We've got a whole bunch of silver, and I doubt we end up using it for anything. So, let's do the silver recipe. Silver, yes. Beautiful. I only need the Z1. Take these back. Um... Well, so we need another machine frame. Ten. Um, machine frame. I might make this one out of alu aluminum, just to save because we've not got a lot of iron left. Um, I think. Does that mean I've got everything? Yeah. Bam! Igneous extruder. Um, now, I can either build pipes or I can build cable. I don't know, what kind of cable? I haven't even looked at the cabling options, which is pretty dumb. Um, we've got universal cables. No, we don't. Um, energy. Uh, what kind of energy conduit have we got? Redstone energy. Hardened. Leadstone energy conduit? Oh, yeah, that's just some lead and redstone. You reckon? Okay, that could be the go. ADRF a tick. Uh, that's plenty. We're not really making much with this thing anyway. Uh, I'll scrap some lead. Um, or I can pump the items it through. I don't know. Fuck, guys, I don't know. Don't make me make decisions. Oh, I gotta make... I gotta cook up some lead. So I've got, like, 13 lead here, which is nice. Um, I think I only need chew... Need chew for this uh, particular recipe. Um, there's also I don't know. There's a leads. Uh, what have we got? Leadstone energy conduit. Oh, I'm sure there was a lead. 
conduit of some description. Um, lead. Whoops. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, wait, back. Um, that's a fluid conduit. Don't need one of those. Is that, oh, there we go. Item ducks. I'm going to need to make some anyway, so that's tin and lead. Um, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Um, well, for now, for now, just settle down, guys. For now, I'm going to go ahead and make, um, that, uh, leadstone energy conduit. Because I think that should work fine for what we want. For our purposes, that'll work fine. That leaves us still with a fair bit of redstone and stuff. So, everything should be fine. It's fine. Nice. So, I'm going to plonk um, this guy down next to this guy. So, you can configure outputs. This guy's uh, outputting everything of this color, which is here on its right, which is, we'll put it into this one. This one's going to be receiving. Yeah. Um, that's not how I want it at all. Just realize, hey, look, I can use the crescent and the hammer. Wasn't a complete waste. Um, we'll do it this way, because we want this to output uh, onto the right. There we go. We got making cobblestone. Um, and now it should just, once we put some lava and water in there, it should just whack uh, stuff in here. Then we're going to get that stuff going into an autonomous activator. Now, for that, that's right. What I needed to do was get that ferrous metal, which I can make using nickel ore. If you just want to look at the uh, things here. Oh, God. Ore dictionary. Oh, God. I hope we can. I may have been uh, misled. Hold on. Give me a sec. Uh, fer ferrous ingots. Okay, ferrous ingot. You make... Um... Oh, yeah, wait. Here we go. Ferrous metal, there we go, um, in a pulverizer, you get a 10% chance if you put a whole lot of like iron gravel and stuff through, but there should be nickel ore dust, nickel ore dust, yeah, which makes pulverized ferrous metal, yeah, so, yeah, anyway, good, I think, I don't know, uh, let me show you the autonomous activator recipe. Autonomous Activator. So what the Autonomous Activator does is it's sort of like a turtle in a way in which it can um, use items. So you get, put an item in it and it will like try and right click or left click with it. You can give it a whole bunch of instructions. Um, it's not related to computer craft in any way. It just kind of functions like a turtle though in that way and the way it can interact with the world. It's kind of sexy. I need to make these Invar ingots and to make Invar ingots I've got to melt down some Invar blend which is iron dust. Pulverized ferrous metal. So I'm also going to need some iron dust. That's a good point, Will. Um, so, uh, I must have something here I can make some iron out of. God damn it. Um, tin. Nickel. I'm taking the nickel. Um, oh, look at that. All this pulverized iron ore. Um, so I can make that into that. I'm pretty sure I should just be able to whack that in the... Um, in this guy as well. So let's get started with making, uh, yeah, hopefully this does everything I want it to do. Come on, ferrous dust, pulverized ferrous metal. Nice. I think I only need two as well. So I'll just, uh, look at that. Oh, we got shiny metal. Shiny metal is good. Um, oh, look, we got lots of shiny metal. Shiny. Um, so, uh, we'll get 10 together, because I'll probably need it down the line for some other machines. Bam. Um, oh, don't need that one. Then, uh, the iron, hopefully I can get this pulverized into iron dust. Pulverized iron. Look at that. Fantastic. Um, so, let's grab that. So, then we should be able to, um, make the, uh... Oh, whoops. Oh, uh, wait. What's that? Oh, oh, God. Which one's pulverized iron ore? Looks Nilo. Okay. <laughs> it's so similarly named. It's, uh, it makes it difficult. Um, nice. That, which will give us... Oh, look at this. All oh, this Inva. Very good. Um, now we smelt up that Inva. We'll get the ingots we need to make the autonomous activator. Um, so I'm going to oh, grab the rest of that lead out of there. We'll need the lead later. Right now, I don't think I need any more gold. No more silver. Um, this is going to get bars. I think I might need some copper. Oh, I will need the lead. Whoops. 
Uh, aluminium, probably not. Tin, no. Nickel ore dust can go back. These pulverized dusts can go back. Um, don't even need gunpowder. Uh, might need the redstone. For now, that's some inventory space. That's the main thing. Um, cool. Alright, let's just go. Oh, whoops, that's right. We need to grab Ferris. Oh, Invar, sorry. Invar. Invar. And to make the Automus activated, we're going to need diamonds. Um, I got a couple more diamonds. We're going to need emeralds. Um, and what else? Another piston for crying down the flame and sink. Oh, um, piston. That should be freely. Yeah, good. Go everything I need for that guy. A chest. Should have everything I oop, need for that guy. Um, and what else? Another one of these servos. Pneumatic servo. Um, I still got any silver. I put the silver back, didn't I? Let's, let's grab a couple of pieces of silver. Just because I'm not really using it, I don't know, iron is very handy, and yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no. So, this guy, we're using the silver recipe, plop. And that should give us everything we need for. Oh, look at that! Boom! Uh, put those other spare two diamonds back in. Okay, so now the autonomous activator, I don't think it needs power. Pretty sure I can just plunk it like there. Oh wait, no, that's its input output. Um, I think it faces me. That, there we go. Okay, so that side with the cool animation is what's going to be doing stuff. So, we can look inside and you can see you've got to right click uh, the way it selects its items and everything, its inputs. So, we're getting input at the back, which is good. So, after everything gets pulverized, um, I'm going to set this to, um, ooh, uh, oh, did I just click on that to change its outputs? All oh, right, wait, I can just click through this until we get... Yeah, okay, good. So now that's going to output everything from that and that. So if we get extra sand, it'll get outputted um, into this guy. Um, and that's... Uh, is that an input? No, that's an output, I think. Yeah, okay, now stuff will get inputted. So, if we grab the uh, sieve... Man, I hope this all works the way I think it does. Hey, I haven't tested it. <laughs> this whole episode could be a fracking waste of time. Oh, well. Oh, well, everything I do is a waste of time, let's be honest. Uh, okay, so now we can put the sieve down. Oh, there's something else I'm going to need, because um, you'll see in a second. But, okay, if I put the sieve down... All right, so let's say I plop... Um, all right, what are we telling this thing to do? The moment it's right-clicking, which is... Yeah, correct, we want it to right-click. Not sneaking, yeah, that's fine. Round robin item use, that's fine. Aim level is just straight on. Um, yeah, no, it's not looking for redstone. Oh wait, low, ignored. Okay, so it shouldn't look for a redstone signal. All right, um, let's just drop uh, a few cobbles in here. And we'll watch them get outputted. Okay, so now they're going in here. Look at that, and as you can see, it's getting sieved. That's great. And we even got some sand to use. Ah, uh, look, and we got some broken copper. I'm just gonna set this to round robin, that way it always, it'll mix between the sand and the gravel. And so, yeah, okay, now I'm just gonna make a bucket. I'm gonna get these guys out of here. Uh, Cause as you can see, it's just spewing stuff into the world, which isn't what we want. That is bad. Um, I'm going to have to put a whole bunch of coal in there to keep that thing powered. Because um, we're going to be using a fair amount of juice. Uh, actually, wait, I've got a bunch of coal. In there. Look at that. We've got like a stack of coal there. That's good. So I'll just get that thing producing power again. Cool. Um, right, now we're just going to get the Igneous Extruder to actually funk Sean. Um, to funk on. Um, so for that we're going to need, oh, I don't know, some kind of, yeah, something. Um, let's make a, uh, we're going to need lava and water. I have, um, can I make a bucket out of silver? I think I can make it out of tin, but probably not. A silver bucket is probably not actually a thing. No, okay, that's fine. Um, didn't I have some tins? In? Yeah, we go, look, we got 11 tin. Nice. I've only got two iron at this point, so I'm just trying... Oh, 
Oh, damn. I can make a clay bucket, and I'm flying a clay bucket. Um, fuck. Bucket. I could have sworn that was... Look at that. Uh, oh, aluminium. Okay, aluminium we do have. Uh, oh, but we've only got three, and I might need some more. Damn it! Um, Alright, I'm making a clay bucket then. Frack it. Frick it. Flip it. Knock it on its side. Um, so, pull up. Good. We got four. That's enough. We only need three. So, bam, pow, boom. I'm fired. Clay bucket. We'll knock the clay. Oh, fuck, where is it? There it is. Um, oh, look at that. Inva. Put that in our ingot's chest. Um, nice. Oh, look at this, guys. This is flipping amazing. Um, now, the other thing I need to... Because all those items is getting thrown in the world... What I need is a vacuum hopper, um, which is gonna bet. I bet it needs a fucking ender pearl. Um, damn it! So I'm gonna need an ender pearl. Um, yeah. I was wondering, maybe I could just make a hopper or something. There might be something else I can do for that, or I can just run by and pick up all the drops every now and again. It's a pretty messy way of doing it, but until I get the mob spawner happening in. It may be necessary. So, let's start off with water. we got some water here. And we'll just uh, chuck that in this guy. Oh, cool. Oh, look. Just took it. Nice. Uh, let's fill it up with water. I don't think it actually uses the water. Oh, if I'm going to fill it up. we got infinite water up here happening, so it's probably a smarter choice. Yeah, look at that. Um, eh, eh. There we go. And, I don't know, how much do you reckon it needs? That's pretty good. Uh, and let's grab some lava. I've prepared some lava in our crucible over here. Uh, we got over a bucket, that's good. There we go. Uh, this is gonna get destroyed once I use it, which kind of sucks, but oh well, that'll happen. Um, let me just double check. Uh, and we're making cobblestone, yeah. So this now should just keep producing cobblestone. Look at that. It's now, it's actually using any of the water? It's not. And it's not using any of the lava. If we want to, we can also use it to make obsidian. That will start using lava, though. So, yeah. But now that's all going into here. Bam, which is all going straight into here. Um, and we're getting drops. Look at that. Woo! Automation. Um... Time saver. So now we can just get basically infinite resources out of this. <laughs> um, cool. So, guys, progress has been made. Huh, look at that. Some lapis lazuli and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm going to have to work on the mob spawner next. So what I'm going to do is I'll get my shit together. I will collect all the things and bits that I need for that, um, and once that is done, I will get back to you, um, and I might deal with this situation, cause, damn, but, uh, yeah, excellent, well, exciting times, guys, thank you for watching, um, I'll be back soon, like and subscribe, or don't, I don't care, fuck you, um, love your work, love your balls, catch you soon. <laughs>